Hey guys, welcome back to my Marvelous Miniverse. I've got a really cool project for you all today. Uh, it's actually one that I worked on a little while back, but I figured since I didn't finish my project from last week and get my normal weekly video out, that I would uh, go ahead and share this one with you. And it's on this build here, the Emperor of the Waves from the Salvage Operation module in the Salt Marsh campaign. That's where I first heard about it. I guess it's been around for a while though. So let's get this intro out of the way and then we'll get into it. So when I first read this module and I realized it was basically a dungeon crawl through an old derelict ship that was beaten up and falling apart with the, you know, in the middle of the night with a storm brewing, uh, I really wanted to craft that, you know, and, and uh, give a better environment for my players to get more immersed in that, that kind of horror feeling, kind of Lovecraftian feeling. Um, so anyway, before I go any further, there are going to be some spoilers because I'm going to show you the inside and everything. Um, but I did lose, I did lose my footage of how I painted it and did the interior decorating. Um, I I have the footage of how I constructed it. So I think what I'm going to do in this video is uh, I'll go ahead and give you a, a flyby and break it down so you can see all the inside and everything, and then I'll I'll leave the construction at the end if you guys want to stick around for that. Um, please do so. And uh, if you like what you see, remember to give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that bell if you want to see more. And uh, let's get on after it. So there she is, the Emperor of the Waves. As the players approached, they could see all the masts and the rigging torn away. The damage to the railing and the blood smears on the deck. Uh, they can look down into the cargo hold from there. And they can explore the forecastle here. With all the spider infestations. The little table with some charts on it and whatnot. And the stairway going down to the lower decks. And they can also Explore the aft cabin, where there's a, an evil shrine in there with some candles and a bloody knife and some rubble, and there's skulls bringing it. I did kind of cheap out on my doors since I wasn't going with a full, full wall because this thing would be ridiculously tall. I just cut out a little section instead of making a door. It's kind of a cop-out, but I think it worked out pretty well. Another stairway going down. And this whole thing lifts off for the second level for the mid-deck. And I had little, little pieces of foam that I covered this up with when they were exploring, but come down in the front Let's see these stairs and the they can look even farther down into the bilge and explore all these spider infested rooms and then there's this room with another altar in there and a magic circle this is where the end guy was more candles there I had underneath that little altar there I think you can see it flashing a little bit. I put a little tea light candle in there. I think the batteries are about dead now, though. Blood runes all over. And in the aft here is the galley where they had turned to cannibalism. And there's still some body parts. There's some failed print minis. A couple of them. There's a little torso hanging on the post there. And then there's that little trap door where they can go down into the bilge area. Be a full aerial shot there. And then this part lifts out too. So they can get down into the bilge. 
and it's all the whole ship is listing to port so I put all the rubble and barrels and beer bottles and crates and there's another little skull in there all kinds of goodies put all those over onto the port side and there's a little battle down here too and then uh, then they just had to escape before the whole thing sank I won't spoil the end for you but in case you guys play it but it was pretty fun pretty good adventure I think everybody enjoyed it I think everybody really liked the ship too in case you missed it I made little see this little post here and these little posts on the outside to kind of help line it up and then the cladding on the outside actually fits over top so that's the uh, that's the fly through give you another look at the outside from the perspective of our heroes so there you go now let's uh, let's get on into how I made this before we get into the construction of the ship I wanted to let you guys know that I'm always up for some feedback so if you have any comments constructive criticism whatever please leave them leave them down below in the comments or head over to my facebook page it's in the uh in the description down there and again if you like what you see subscribe hit the bell and there's a, a really cool discord server uh that i got on recently tabletop dungeoneers there's a lot of guys doing doing a lot of crafting and D, &D on a budget uh unboxing miniatures painting you know all kinds of stuff um Pretty cool tabletop dungeoneers. So there's a link down in the description also. So head over and check them out if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and we'll just go ahead and get on into the construction. So I just use this half inch XPS foam for all the um, all the decks that are in there. And I marked it out. I used inch and a quarter grid, and I wanted to do the slats running one way and then the nails holes running the other way. Make it look a little better. So I, I just ran all the lines that one way and then cut it out. I did I did this with all the decks. So. And I made a little little guide to help me there. Make all the little slats between the between the grid. Made sure the grid was flatter. And I used the wire brush to make the details in there. And then put all my little nail holes an inch and a quarter apart. And then these are the pieces for the outside. I just cut them at one inch and did the wood detail on the upper inch, or upper half inch, rather. And then those went around the outside with the wood details facing the inside. Uh, then I needed some little posts for the masts to represent the masts on each of the decks, so I just cut out little inch and a quarter squares and made them into little circles trimmed them up and then did uh, detailed them with the brush to make them look like uh, like they're wood I think they look pretty good and then I just did some half inch strips for the internal walls just drew lines on them kind of randomly and, and uh, then took the wire brush to them just to make them look wood figure it's an old beat up ghost ship it's been derelict for a while it's probably not going to look great and if you're familiar with the the actual map at all it, I changed it up a little bit and these are the masts on the outside that were broken so I just used an exacto knife and chunked some pieces out textured them up I did two short ones and I wanted to do two longer ones and this is out of one inch foam and I used that little hot wire to cut them out with I think they turned out pretty good And this is just the uh, the forecastle deck and the poop deck. Just kind of did the same thing. I went I went crossways with the wood pattern, the wood grain, 
from what the regular decks were. <clears throat> and then these are the ones that going around the outside and I made sure that they were going to hang down so that the decks themselves would stick up and then I'm going to do railing around that. And this is to make the outside of the hole. I drew around the main deck because it was the largest one and then I drew the smallest deck in the middle. Uh, that's one inch foam and then cut it all out. And it turned out that one, one inch wasn't wide enough so I had to do put half inches in there too and I, I ended up doing two layers of inch and a half thick foam for the outside with uh, that foam core on the bottom. Made sure everything fit together and then trimmed it down so it looked nice. Had to put a little extra on the, the nose there. <clears throat> Just because the pieces of foam I had weren't really long enough. I'm going to use that hot wire again to give the, the hole a little shape. You know, bring it in closer at the bottom and the top. Then I had to build the... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what that piece is called. The piece that the, the mass that sticks off the front holds up. And made sure to just mod podge the whole thing. Black paint and mod podge. Mix and then cut up a bunch of three quarter inch strips. And these, are, this is going to be the cladding on the outside. I just hot glued it down all around, and I left a little gap at the top on the outside of the hole. Uh, because the cladding from the main deck fits over that kind of help hold it in there. And then I tore it all up real good, brushed the hell out of it with the brush, make it look more torn up and old, and black paint mod podge it. Went ahead and put the masts out on the main deck, and made the little stairwells and the little uh, cargo access holes. And just kind of freehanded the rails for the the steps on the outside. And these are the, this is the railing. I just glued those little pieces on there. It's just little little square dowels and little round dowels. I cut the ends off so they'd kind of fit down in the foam, and then I just kind of cracked the top of it so, to make the bend in there. And glued those down in. A little ladder for the trap door, and those are the covers for the for the cargo access holes. So that's all the footage I got for you. You know, I I apologize. You know, I, I should have more, but I'm still kind of new to this, and I was even newer back when I filmed this. Um, if, you got, if you have any questions or or anything about that, I'm I'm willing to answer those. You know, down in the comments or over my Facebook page or whatever. Again, I hate to repeat myself, but. Um, Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, man, stay tuned to my channel. I've got a lot more good things coming out for you guys.